question number seven right here like uh, these are like normal one here they give the equation and then they tell or the complete the table right now here what we should do uh, uh like we normally when you have graph equation we have to do this way you no know? we write the equation and we substitute this x value here and get the uh, answer so let's redo that uh, here not it is not big problem so y equal okay i will do it here right but it is uh, you know even you can do in mine right so here um, x for the x you need to write what the one right here you need to write one one square plus uh, x replace it again one right so what the answer here one square mean one one over one mean again one so that's why here two huh? very simple idea so here must be two right same way uh, you need to find for this one for the uh, x equal to so again we write the same equation for the um, y equal right x square plus 1 over x n. and then for the x n, we have to put here huh? x is 2 no no here x excel is 2 so for the x you need to put 2 right now here uh, I think you know everyone know this so that's why i will not explain much here here 2 square mean 4 and here um so here 4 half means 0 0.5 no right if you add these two together your answer will be 4.5 right that's the answer so here will be our answer you need to write what the 4.5 that's the answer for that part now they tell what the on the grid draw the graph this right for uh, this to this right now that means here to here they draw this graph that means 0 0.22 um right uh, now here you have to draw right on the grid draw the graph of this one for from here to here actually this part they draw but the uh, the graph this one same one from here to here has been drawn for you right this is this part they draw actually correct no now see uh, from minus 2.5 from here to minus uh, minus 0 0.2 till to here they draw no this is our graph that is from minus 2.5 to minus 2 huh? here till to that they draw this graph now they ask to draw this part what right there on the grid draw the graph this same one from here to here that means 0 0.22 that means plus uh, this is plus no uh, plus 0 0.22 um, plus 2.5 right okay so using this table well, same idea but we uh, no uh, this value you need to mark and draw now I already mark here but I will show you how to mark again now here uh, 2 and uh, 5 huh? here x value 2 then y value is 5 no so very simple from x value go to 2 huh? from x value 2 this is the x value 2 then 5 from here you need to go 5 right that's the idea here right mm, right so uh, sorry here not 2 no here uh, 0 0.2 right 0 0.2 from uh, from x value you need to go to 0 0.2 0 0.2 here so where the 0 0.2 here after now here this each you know here represent till to here one so this one box represent 0 0.1 right 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 like that no so here 0 0.2 0 0.2 mean here right here x value 0 0.2 here then 5 from y value 5 from here you need to go like this till to 5 here this is the huh, that value that point that means 0 0.2 comma 5 then 0 0.3 uh, from x value 0 0.3 uh, from the y value should be 3.4 from x value uh, 3.3 1 2 3 and then you need to go from y value 3.4 when you consider like this way this way here 3 3. 4 mean now here very carefully 3 to 4 we have here 5 boxes no 3 to 4 we have 5 boxes that mean uh, this each box represent 2 huh? 
because 2, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, uh, then 0 0.10 mean uh, 4. Uh, it's like that. So here should be 3.4 mean 2 boxes here. You need to mark there. Then uh, 0 0.5 to 2.3, 0 0.5 to 2.3, 2.3 here, but the here till 2, 2.3 mean after 2, 1 box is 2 point no, then here if you mark it is 2.4, should be middle, middle of that, huh? like that, mark this all uh, points and you have to join the curve, right, try to understand, I already uh, marked these points, now I need to join, now I draw my graph, right, it's uh, like this way, but um, you know, um, you have to practice well, uh, you can draw the graph more than this uh, to be curved, right, anyway, now uh, here, this one, but the, uh, in part C they tell, but the, by drawing suitable straight lines on the grid, slow the following equation, right, you have to slow this equation, now, this is a, uh, you know, normally common question for graph but then they first of all you have to draw the graph like this hmm? then they ask to uh, slow another uh, equation another function so what we should do uh, what the uh, graph we draw huh? we need to uh, huh? okay i will write it here i need to compare with that now here this is the graph we draw huh? for this function we have here graph right this is the graph for that but they ask solution for this now when you look carefully here right try to understand now now if i make this is as equation one this side equation two you can see now this side equal to this side that means definitely this equal to this side in a uh, two equation uh, left side equal to right side or left side that, that means one side equal to other side that mean that mean definitely other two sides also equal so you can make E, uh, easily equation but the y equal minus 2 or oh, uh, actually here idea from equation uh, 2 if you subtract equation 1 or oh, from equation 1 if you subtract equation 2 you will get an answer has y equal minus 2 right but you don't need to do that much work in here just we can think here this uh, this equation uh, left side equal this side and right uh, this equation right side so that's why this must be equal to this hmm? you can write now this one even again here like this right uh, here this one i can write here minus 2 same thing huh? minus 2 same way like this so that means this two equal right so when we have like this hmm, right okay if, uh, if still if you confuse i will write here now this is the equation one now you can see this this to this equal that means definitely this to this equal right that's the basic idea right here we have y equal minus two so what we need to do after they given this type of equation compare these two equation and uh, from one other one subtract or like that make another uh, equation that may be line liner equation most of the time so this one uh, liner graph now this one represent line graph no line no so you have to draw that line here y equal minus 2 y equal minus 2 mean uh, very simple um, right you have to draw that now y equal to mean here uh, y equal to mean it should be cut the y axis at minus 2 if you got y equal 1 that means it go like this way uh, uh, parallel to x axis and go through the 1 if you have y equal 1 y equal 2 mean like this y equal 3 mean like this so very simple idea here y equal minus 2 mean it should be go like this right now i will draw this one right now how to find the solution after you draw this one now this is y equal minus 2 now with our earlier this one what the um, now other equation but the this is the graph we draw huh? this graph this one that represent by this two curve line right now this one huh? after uh, they ask the solution of uh, sorry they ask the solution of this one sorry um, they ask the solution of this one right so we make this way now we get this equation now we draw that one now where huh? this both huh? graph meet uh, intersect 
that's the point you need to find now this is one and this one meet at here that mean from that you need to draw a draw a line to the x-axis right like this now here is the solution represent so here will be what the minus right minus one uh, point uh, sorry point minus 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 here uh, my answer is middle of this one. so that's why it will be 0. Point, uh, minus 0. 0.45 like that I will get uh, my answer so here uh, for this part mm, for this part my answer is mm, but the uh, minus mm, 0. 0.45 right that's the answer for that part okay now they tell in part 2, hmm, uh, see part uh, room number 2, they give another equation. Huh? Here also you need to find the solutions. So, so we should the same method, but the, uh, we will write what the graph we draw. So, I will write it here, x square uh, 1 over x equal y. Right? Now, if I name this one has 1, this one has 2, what you need to do? from equation 1 subtract 2 or 2 subtract 1 then you can get another equation so I will do that you don't need to do this uh, where you can do it in mind even but I will show you hmm, from equation 1 I will subtract equation 2 so here will be what the x square plus 1 over x plus x plus uh, sorry minus 1 from that you have to subtract this side right okay I will show you what what is happened here right uh, but you don't need to show this much work in uh, the, without this working also you can do uh, here so 0 minus y uh, basic idea from left side we subtract left side from right side we subtract right side so here will be after remove the bracket here will be just x square here 1 over x here plus x here minus x here minus sign no, this uh, minus sign uh, when you have in front of bracket that means this both sign must be changed here will be minus x square that means here plus x square no it will become minus here plus that also will become minus so now here uh, 0 minus y mean minus y here x square cut with the minus x square then here plus 1 over x and cut with minus 1 over x so here we will answer what the x minus 1 equal minus y now normally we we not keep our subject as minus so this all the term divide by minus 1 right this all are divide by minus 1 so it will become here plus y and here will be minus x this will become plus 1 so here will be plus 1 minus x now here is our uh, equation now this one you have to draw here a uh, very simple way you can make a, a, a box I mean value for the x and y now our equation is this no y equal 1 minus x so for this for this uh, you can uh, find the value right now here we have some space so I will do uh, I will find uh, three answers for that now for the x-axis I will get you know any value any three value has your wish you can get one uh, two three I will get one two three now um, I will use my equation but the my equation here y equal right y equal um, one minus x now here for the x I need to put one of this value get the y value for that so now here I will think x has one 1 minus for the x I will put 1 so here we'll uh, we will have 1 minus 1 means 0 so y equals 0 so here 0 like that and then again y minus 1 minus x for the x I need to put 2 now right so here y 1 2 uh, x mean here 2 so I need to put 2 so 1 minus 2 mean it will be minus 1 so y equal minus 1 here answer is minus 1 same way let's do one more one minus x now here will be what the y one for the x i need to put three now 
so here answer 1 minus 3 mean minus 2 so here answer is minus 2 okay now I need to draw this one on my graph here right so let's see do that first one 1 0 huh? 1 0 I need to mark 1 0 huh? 1 0 1 0 mean very simple here huh? x value 1 here 1 0 right then but the next one 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 here 2 mean here no uh, minus 1 minus 1 mean uh, here from the y-axis minus 1 from the x-axis 2 okay then I have another one with the 3 minus 2 uh, here we have no 3 minus 2 right actually I accidentally get it so um, okay we can get another value for example we can get uh, here it's good to uh, happen like that then you have idea now if happen like this okay because I get uh, 3 here but here there's no 3 actually if you consider before draw this table uh, here there's no 3 so if you put 0 it's good now here 0 so if I put here 0 uh, y equal 1 minus x now here 1 for the x I need to put 0 so what the answer here 1 minus 0 mean 1 so here must be 1 0 1 so I need to mark that in hmm? the 0 1 0 here 1 mean here right now I need to join these three coordinate with the straight line right if I join this three uh, point with a straight line right like this hmm? right now like same we did earlier now I need to find from this point uh, we have to draw a perpendicular line to x-axis right like this then find value that is the answer right now here my answer is actually uh, 1 here 1 1.5 1 1.5 then um, here will be 1.6 1.7 1.8 1.85 right minus 1.85 so my answer is what the here Right for this one x value solution of this one but the minus 1.85 right that's the answer for that part okay in the uh, next uh, part uh, d part d they tell what the k is an integer and uh, the equation this has three solution right k is an integer it's very important this k is a integer it can't be decimal huh? so very carefully think about that one two three like that I'll write down possible value of k now we need to find value of k possible value uh, a value huh? write down a possible value one value you need to write okay now here uh, same way what we did earlier this one will be what the same format our equation right now our equation was like this no if I write the same way uh, uh, y that means definitely these two sides equal that means here what the y equal k y equal k and k is an integer integer mean a number can be even minus 1 minus 2 uh, 0 uh, 4 5 like that somehow it's a integer now uh, now y equal number if you have y equal 1 2 3 we know how to draw that now here for example here my, y equal minus 2 if you draw here y equal minus 1 huh? like that I explained earlier also so but it has three solution now for example think how we think what are the numbers we can get for k like this now if I draw like this way right it will cut our graph at here so we can find the solution directly go to x axis here is the solution but if I draw here we have only one time it cut our graph so we have only one solution like that if you cut here here anyway any uh, place in this area it will cut only one time our graph so that's why it has only one solution but if you if you draw through the uh, y equal to uh, here it also cut here and here also just one so it must be greater than 2 now if I draw like here uh, y equal 3 uh, like this way then it cut at three places in our graph here here and also here 
this place so it has three place that means you can find directly go to this way you can find three solution after two here it will happen right so you need to write only one solution uh, 4k uh, one answer for uh, that's why if you ma draw uh, if you tell three uh, 4k it's okay i mean k y equal three then you draw this way uh, you have three solution uh, three solution if you draw uh, like this way y equal four uh, now here you have three solution here one here one and here one uh, after you get to uh, x axis you you will have three solutions so that's why here we can write what the y equal um right here we can write what the uh, has answer k can be you know you can write even three two uh, sorry two you can't write three four five like that so i will write here four right y equal four uh, sorry k equal four for the k we can get plus four that's the answer for that